Today we are hosting a very special giveaway. Not only are we giving away a $50 donator pin as per usual, but we're also hosting a 350 like goal giveaway for the first near reality party hat in game, which you can sell for, well, as much as you want. Like I said, it's the first one in game. All you have to do to enter is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, let's get started. Welcome back to another weekly compilation of our fallen Iron Man. We have a few big ones this episode, so strap in. Starting off, we have Keldegrim, who lost a 1v1 against Vorkath with a total level of 2,179. Not gonna lie, Vorkath has some actual KO potential on near reality, so this is a respectable way to go. Up next, we have Front Lever, who was bested by a Gargoyle with a total level of 2,050. I'm gonna guess he went AFK without a Rock Hammer, so deserved. A big RIP to Hebri, who also fell against a Slayer mob. Smoke Devils this time, with a total level of 2,023. Just one total level away from being a very, very cool announcement. And finally, we mourn the loss of Luke HCIM, who was hunted by the infamous PKer AFK3 with a total level of 506. I know he's not a big total level loss, but come on, I can't not cover a low level claiming a status. That'd be blasphemous. RIP my fallen brothers, and with all that out of the way, let's get started. Episode 6. Episode 6. Time to spin the wheel for episode 6. Ooh, Lord of the Rings! Hey, something fun for once! Oh my goodness, what a change of pace, dude! For those of you that don't know what the Lord of the Rings challenge is, let me explain. The Lord of the Rings challenge is to gather all four of the Dagonoth King rings, five if you include the Ring of Life, in one inventory. Also keeping in mind that the ring drop rates themselves are actually pretty low, sitting at 1 in 85 on just about every drop table. I don't know why, but I have a very good feeling that we are going to be in and out with this challenge very quickly. Worst case scenario, I'm thinking maybe two days. And because this challenge is Dagonoth King specific, there's one perk we're going to absolutely need to make this as smooth as possible. The perk Dagahu provides the ability to damage Dagonoth Kings with any combat style. It's going to hurt spending 1500 points on such a niche perk, but honestly, Dagonoth King KC is a comp wreck anyway, so gimme gimme. We are going to be pioneering this challenge with melee for the Death Cape proc, so hopefully that carries us. And with all that out of the way, let's go kill some Dagonoth Kings. Yes! Oh, the dragon limbs! We're done, dude! Give me those! Put them in my inventory right now, my brother! I mean, it was only a 1 in 100, but still, that is an amazing upgrade for the account. We completely skipped the rune crossbow, dude. The only obstacle now would be to get 78 fletching, and we currently have... 30. Yikes. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna turn some bars into dart tips and go from there. Many logs and many darts later, and we are finally 79 fletching. Create the magic stock. Create some sinew from raw beef. Turn that sinew into crossbow string. Put it all together, and we've got ourselves a dragon crossbow for the account, and I could not be more excited. Skipping the rune crossbow is a big achievement, and we look absolutely terrifying. Bolt racks are becoming a little too expensive to maintain, and we've been getting plenty of bolts from world bosses and such, so I figured we were way past due for an upgrade. We have six tridents to break down, which is going to give us almost 2,000 points on its own. Then we're going to get rid of one tentacle, which will bring us up to just enough points to buy our next perk. And that perk's going to be No One's Home, which provides a 100% increase in XP at the AFK zone. I spend so much time in the AFK zone, it's not even funny. If a skill can be trained here, I have trained it here and nowhere else. So to be able to double the amount of XP we get from here moving forward is going to be so enormous. If you are a 10 times or a 5 times account, I recommend getting this perk as early as possible, if not the first perk you ever buy. If you plan on using the AFK zone anyways. Between needing to fight both Zora and Vorkath, I felt like getting 87 Herbalore was very necessary. I have had one too many close calls with Venom on this server already, and I'm not fixing to lose my status because I didn't raise my herb lore. With that being said, I do believe the next step for this account would be to get a Vorkath's head for an Ava's Assembler. With any luck, we'll hopefully also scoop up a Draconic Visage, and maybe, if we're super lucky, a Draconic Visage and a Skeletal Visage. Currently making some enchanted ruby dragon bolts to make this grind just a little bit smoother. Gonna be pairing that with enchanted dragonstone dragon bolts, and hopefully we should be seeing about minute and a half KCs. 
Oh, why in the world does a dragon battle axe have a loot beam, bro? What have I done to my drops? Oh, this dragon battle axe just got me again. There's absolutely no way, dude. Oh, I feel so dumb. Oh, there we go, dude. 20k scene, we're out of here. Mwah. I might actually go ahead and get 35 and get a second Vorkath head for our Slayer helmet. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and create our Avis assembler really quickly. Thank you very much. And that is a beautiful, beautiful upgrade. <gasps> Ooh, my, what, what sound just came out of my mouth, bro? Skeletal visage, no way! Yo, best in slot range offhand besides the buckler has been unlocked, man. Holy. I actually can't believe that happened, bro. That is so good. I just wanted another head for my Slayer Helm, boys, and we ended up with a Dragonfire Ward. Give me. <laughs> that is another 15 range attack bonus and 8 range strength bonus for the account. Oh, a jar. What is happening today? Dude, what is going on? <laughs> Give me that, brother. This breaks down for 1650 points. I can't believe it, dude. That is so huge for the account. Goodbye. Give me my points immediately. To make a long story short, we did get our second Vorkath head, but I've just learned that some of these Slayer Helm passive effects don't even work, so for now, we are not going to upgrade our helmet. And with our Vorkath grind out of the way, I think it is finally time to start our Lord of the Rings challenge. Right now. In retrospect, I probably should have brought a spec weapon, but uh, I wanted to keep the slots open for food and potions. If these Dagonoth bones are noted... Oh my god, the Dagonoth bones are noted, I'm in heaven. We're also on a Slayer task, so we are absolutely destroying these Dagonoth kings. Holy, get comboed, my boy! I can already tell I didn't bring enough prayer potions, but you know what? We're gonna stick out this inventory anyways. My prayer is draining right now, dude. Holy. Just in case I didn't explain it well enough before, the whole point of this challenge is to get all four rings, five rings if you count the ring of life, in one inventory setting. What a 150 proc. Mwah. So the challenge will not be completed until you get all the rings that you, you can't leave. If you restock, it's pretty much a reset. It's basically a glorified RNG endurance test. That's all it is. And we're gonna get our first ring right now. Thank you, Rex. Boo. Our third round through the Dagonoth Kings with no rings. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. There's our first ring, Berserker Ring 3 KC. <laughs> we're down two entire prayer potions so far. I can't lie, I'm getting a little nervous. I either need to give up some strength bonus gear for some prayer bonus gear, or honestly, I'll probably just bring a lot less food and a lot more prayer potions because I'm really not eating. Ooh, Archer's Ring, yes, very nice, dude. <laughs> two rings to go, two more, two more. We have three and a half prayer pots and two rings left to get before I can consider this completed, so please spoon me, Warrior's Ring and Seer's Ring. Here we go, dude. Even though we've gotten the Archer's Ring, I'm still gonna kill Dagonoth Supreme because these respawn timers are insane and these rings break down for remnant points anyway, so if we end up getting extras, good, I need them. Oh, another Archer's Ring. I'm not complaining, dude. Listen, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I don't think we're finishing on our first inventory, which is kind of sad, but again, what, what are you gonna do? So for now, I'm just gonna enjoy every drop I can get until we have to leave. Plus it's free remnant points, so gimme gimme. Sadly, we are completely out of prayer potions. This is our last KC, and we did not finish Lord of the Rings on our very first attempt. Boo! Although we are walking away with two Archer's Rings, one Berserker Ring, and 150 Dagonoth Bones. I have a good feeling this challenge is fixing to be really good for prayer XP. So close, yet so far. Time to gear up for round two with a few minor changes. And by minor changes, I mean I'm bringing 50 prayer potions. Good luck. No, oh, I thought that was it. Dang it, dude. Ugh. I thought we were out of here, man. That's remnant points, but I thought that was the end. Why are you aggressive up to six football fields length? That makes no sense. Holy. No, no, not the axe. Dude, get me out of here, please. We only have 23 prayer points left, man. I am literally prayer flicking, trying to save every single prayer point I can, bro. Please don't make me redo this. That's the run. 
That's the run. Cool, dude. Ruined. Ruined because of a football field's length of aggression. I Why? Oh, that sucks, man. Oh my god. Whatever, bro. What a waste of two hours, not gonna lie. Alright, switching up the strat one last time, we are giving up 8 strength bonus for 14 prayer bonus instead because prayer seems to be our main issue. I'm also going to be bringing a few slayer task picker scrolls so we can constantly be on task and do our maximum output of DPS. This is our final form, if this doesn't do it for us, nothing will. Early, early. Back to back berserker rings, okay, this is the god run, dude. Oh, into the warrior ring? What is happening right now? What in the world? Back to back to back. Berserker ring, berserker ring, warrior ring. This is insane. Wait a minute. Into an archer's ring. This is fake. This is fake. What is happening? This is not real. We're, we have used zero prayer potions this run. I need one more ring and we still have three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, like 15 prayer pots, dog. And we're done. Get me out. I have spent all day here, bro, and I am so far over it. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Oh, but Effigy, you didn't get the ring of life. Not in the collection log, not my problem. Do not care. Judging by our stack of bones, this was a 460 Dagonoth King grind, and it took us three tries. We ended up getting 5 Dragon Axes, 5 Berserker Rings, 3 Warrior Rings, 3 Archer Rings, and 2 Seer's Rings. Well, I have got a bunch of Dagonoth Bones that need sacrificing to an altar, so this is probably a really good time to cut the video. As always, fellas, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, I will see you gorgeous Goombas in the next one. Hey Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your short hair Do you even care? You got a bad attitude, mix it with a bunch of tooth And all you're left with is a menacing stare Wash that taste out your mouth, little princess How you gonna tell me that your life is worth?